Today is March 7th, 2024. It's around 2 o'clock, 2 ish p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, today I've spent time in my Top Step Combine accounts. Had a very good day, in my opinion. My net gain was $425. I know that's chump change to a lot of you traders, but hey, that's good for me. And I'm going to go over that in a little bit, what, how I did on each of my accounts. But I just want to say something about Top Step real quick. Uh, if you guys have never tried Top Step and interested in trading futures, it's a really great way to trade without risking your own money. All you have to do is pass their combine accounts, account, get into an XFA account and that pays real money. And then get a live funded account, which also pays real money. And the first $10,000 you make is 100% yours. After the first $10,000, then 90% of what you make is yours. And how that works is when you request a payout, say you request a payout for $1,000, they will keep $100 and send you $900. So what I, I say that to say this, they are not scooping their 10% off of the account balance that you have they're scooping their 10% off when you request a payout so if you're interested in checking out top step and maybe doing this yourself how about using my affiliate link below I would appreciate it now let's get on with how my day of trading went oh and just to set up the scenario here we're gonna look at the expected move again and I'm going to leave a link in the description below, if you have Think or Swim, how you can get that indicator. Learn something today about setting your personal loss limit. I have mine set at 250. I did not get filled until I had lost 334. So that personal loss limit is just an estimate when you set your own. Uh, I guess it, it happened in here. I got on the wrong side of this. And I guess price just fell so fast that that was the first price that could fill me. So... My personal loss limit got violated today, so I lost $134 more than I wanted to. But that's okay, my net between all the accounts today is $425. So let me just show you real quick. I've been doing damage repair on most of my accounts. I got all but this one that I hit this loss on back up over $50,000. This one barely made $200 on it today. This one here, this is the one I'm working on to get funded first. Uh, most of this is micros, trade micros. There was one scalp with an NQ in there. So I, I can't put my point gain up today because this morning I traded with micros. This afternoon I scalped with the NQ. Uh, so but 309 in that account. I didn't trade that account today. And 250 in that account. And of course, uh, negative. 334 but net net 425 dollar day day i consider that to be a good day for me anyway but i am done trading but i wanted to show you guys something let me put this on a different account so you don't have to see that violated thing there we go i want you to look at something here i talked in yesterday's video about the options expected move on the nq and I charted it, charted it out here. I got the upper, the middle, and the lower. If you remember, if you watched last night's video, you know I, you know I said I, sh I wanted to go long. Well, let me just show you real quick. Where is it at? I wanted to go long because this candle had closed green. And I expected it to do this, to pull back in. However, I did not go long last night and go to sleep, which I should have, because it was just acting so wonky. By the time I got around 8.30 or 9, I shut the computer down. But sure enough, if I would have went long and just put me a disaster stop in place, it would have paid off. But because this thing closed, didn't close inside, I was a little concerned about it not closing, even though it was green. It did not close inside the expected move yesterday. And with the way the price was going last night, I was just a uh, I wasn't comfortable with the trade, so I did not did not put a trade on last night. Let me show you something about these options you can trade on the NQ if you have think or swim. 
you can look here you, you got one expiring today we still have a $39 expected move remaining for today see that right there you can see your expected move over here and Fridays uh, we still have a 200 point almost 200 point expected move between uh, for tomorrow before this option expires and of course all that is right in here so we could go 200 points this way and hit the top of that sucker we could go 200 points this way and hit the bottom even pierce below it what is my anticipation now that we're right just about right smack dab in the middle of it my anticipation is i have no idea <laughs> which way it's going to go no idea look what it did let's go back over here and look what it did today on this chart Oops, that's the wrong one uh, where's that there it is look what it did it, let's tighten this up so this is last night this was where it opened last night and it bottomed out right here uh, around 2 in the morning so I was looking at this stuff right here and I was like, I'm just not comfortable with that. Though I had me a level here where I thought it might bottom out at, but and I could have put my stop right under it and I'd been good. But look what it did. It went straight up to the middle of that expected move I just showed you. And then it's been bouncing, chopping around it all day today. So could it go up here tomorrow? That's what I'm hoping on. That's what I'm hoping for. But but we'll see. Today I started trading with trend lines. I've been if you guys watch Tori trades, uh, she's a pretty amazing trader in my opinion. And all she uses is trend lines. That's it. I don't think I could ever be use just trend lines. I got I got to know a little bit more. But I started scalping with those trend lines right up here, and then uh, right in here I was scalping the trend lines. You know get buy it here sell it here <laughs> and it worked out real well until this particular trade i i bought it here expecting it to go back up and then it went uh, so someone must have went to lunch or took off early today who was supporting this trend some big player uh, just went to lunch and then poof and there it went and that's what stopped me out of that one account but overall I'm, I'm I'm tickled pink at how today's trade went. You know, for me, four hundred twenty dollars. That's good money. Uh, at this rate, I expect to be into an XFA account. Hopefully, within the next five to ten trading days. Sooner the better, because then you have to do this all over again in the XFA account for you start taking out any money you have to hit your three thousand dollar profit target i believe if i'm understanding it right before they will allow you to take a withdrawal out of the xfa account so that's the next step i'm uh let's see which one of these is i think it's this one yeah so i'm 2500 away on this one and you got to remember i damaged most of these accounts really bad Monday and Tuesday. Between 500 and 750. Pretty big swing. I know it's at least a thousand dollar swing there. Uh, here's probably three or four hundred dollar swing. This one here's uh, probably two hundred dollar swing, something like that. This one here, I gotta try and repair tomorrow. But this will be the last thing I'll work on, repairing things. I'm I'm gonna be Poking away at this one right here. Just try and get that one up. And the next one, I'm trying to do two. I want to try and get two accounts funded. So I'm going for 200 to $300 like I did in this one here. And then shut shut that down and go to another account. Uh, so this is th them giving me these five combine accounts for $4.50 a month has taught me something about having multiple accounts. You hit your targets in one, switch to another, keep what you made in one. That way you're not destroying everything all at the same time. So so I want to get as many of these funded as possible. And I have learned the importance of having multiple accounts here.
I'm not yet using a copy trader because uh, the copy trader, they have their own copy trader here. I could set this one as the master and then I could select these, any one from these here um, to copy into. I'm not yet doing that yet. I don't consider myself good enough to be messing with two accounts at the same time yet. But I am starting to get a better grip on price action. Just watching make these double bottoms, the candlestick double bottoms, not this kind of double bottom, but the candlesticks, two candlesticks side by side. Look at that double bottom, poop, popped up. I didn't do a whole lot of selling. I did two or three uh, selling trades, but you know, trading against the trend makes me nervous, so I didn't do much. But look at this double bottom, pop. Double bottom pop and my account was already suspended <laughs> when this happened I could have jumped back in there but but I had done hit the daily loss limit on that particular account and I'm not getting back in today I'm, I'm going to keep what I got but uh yeah so uh, last night's video I told you how you could go get that expect to move indicator uh, for think or swim here got to expect to move here and I got my I haven't got my lines charted out on it yet but I do if you look at the MMQ I got them there I went ahead and wrote them all out I was doing I do last week's and this week's a plot out whoops a plot out and depending on where we are in the trading day on whether or not I use the last week's I used it yesterday as you notice these gray lines are last week's this is the last week's top last week's middle last week's bottom and we traded right down into the middle of last week and we come back up into i mean we traded right yeah the middle and we come back right back up into the top of last week so sometimes those are important those i just two weeks look back i chart those out as levels Watch how price interacts there. I expect some kind of reversal at certain levels. But we've hit the middle level today. I kind of anticipated the reversal. I just, because I had had a couple good short trades, but I didn't, someone went to lunch and quit supporting that, <laughs> quit supporting that trend on them trend lines and went to lunch and it collapsed and I got stopped out. But, so... I'm looking forward to getting funded and learning more about under understanding more about price action and market structure and it's really helping me a lot I've had uh, two green days so far I've repaired all but that one account and I'm, I'm on my way I'm what Let's see one two three four five six so I am what one one third of the way one fourth of the way to to a, a XFA account so yeah that's it just wanted to update you where I'm at what I'm doing and uh, oh I'll leave a, a link in the description below if you have think or swim so you can get the expected move indicator anyhow if, if you guys enjoyed this how about smashing that like button be sure to subscribe you have a good day